Handoff, Fleming crashing over the right side, and he's in! Touchdown, Wisconsin! For the fourth straight game, the Badgers had a 100-yard rusher as Corey Clement went over the 100-yard mark against Northwestern. Welcome to the press pass. The run game is ramping up. Through the first five games, the Badgers topped the 200-yard rushing mark just once as a team. But over the last four games, the Badgers are averaging 204 yards on the ground. I would not say we've arrived yet. You know, it's not where we want it to be, but I think it's given us uh, some been a big part of the last few games and given us a chance to, to do some things offensively. And so uh, I like the progress, but it's, uh, it's not where we wanted to be yet. We're not, we haven't arrived yet. The Badgers have reached their highest ranking of the season at number seven. UW takes on Illinois Saturday at 2.30. It's homecoming and tickets are still available. Here's Iverson, shakes off the right wing to the hole, slam dunk. Who's ready for some college basketball? The season opens this week and the Badgers tip things off Friday night against Central Arkansas at the Kohl Center. There are obviously high expectations for the Badgers this year, ranked ninth in the preseason poll. But with this veteran group, those are expectations this team is embracing. The expectations on the outside will never supersede what's on the inside. And, and these guys are a very confident group, but they understand also. I think one thing that will help this group is what they went through last year and how they had to dig themselves out from a hole and, and uh, mature and grow. And, and they understood or, or through the year understood how important this process and the everyday aspect is to it. Uh, and they've taken the same approach. The season opener starts at 7 p.m. Friday night. It's also team poster giveaway night. The volleyball team is on a five game winning streak. Now, for the first time this season, UW won't have to face a ranked opponent for an entire week. The Badgers are on the road at Illinois and Northwestern this weekend. But just because the teams aren't ranked, doesn't mean it's not a challenge. You no, know, it's the Big Ten. I think they've got three top 25 wins. I mean, that's, you know, and I think they've got like seven top 50 wins. They're a really, really good team. If they were in the, the Big 12, they'd either be second or third. But when you're in this conference, you, it, can, it can look like maybe that you're, you're struggling. The men's soccer team advanced to the semifinals of the Big Ten tournament with a 3-0 win over Ohio State. Now the third seeded Badgers take on second seed Indiana. The two teams met a few weeks ago and played to a nil-nil draw. But with a trip to the Big Ten Finals on the line, there can't be a tie this week, and there's only one way to describe the matchup. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a big boy game. So um, I know my guys are excited, they're ready. Uh, Indiana may have a little bit of a home, home feel to it because it is in Indiana. Um, should have a good crowd there Friday afternoon. We've not been at a neutral site um, for the Big Ten for quite a while. Um, so I, I think it's going to be exciting for all four teams. The Badgers and Hoosiers meet in the Big Ten semifinals at 1.30 on Friday. Also on Friday, the NCAA Great Lakes Cross Country Regional is coming to the Zimmer Championship course. There's no clear favorite on the women's side, but for the men coming off their 48th Big Ten championship, the Badgers are the top ranked team in the field. You certainly can't take it for granted just because, you know, we beat uh, Michigan State by a slim three points at the Big Ten championships. Indiana are going to come out uh, firing on all cylinders. It's going to be a great competition, but it's we can't take it for granted. The guys have to push the emotion of last week behind them and uh, now, now it's time to focus on, um, on Friday. The women's race starts at noon on Friday. The men follow at one. The women's hoops team took care of business in its first exhibition game. UW shot 50% from downtown. Now the Badgers have one more tune-up game Tuesday at the Kohl Center before the games start to count Friday at Charlotte. As we prepare for tomorrow, we need to prepare for, for to fix ourselves as much as, as getting ready for UW Stout, and that's not to take anything away from them. Just on a quick one-day turnaround, making sure, you know, with, with this many games in a short period of time. Wisconsin is next. The women's soccer team is headed to the NCAA tournament. The bracket 
was announced Monday, and Wisconsin will host Marquette in the first round Friday at 7 p.m. I think in training tomorrow I'm going to have to hold them back a little bit because they're thoroughly excited. But, you know, this group has been very steady their entire season. Um, you know, we trained this weekend, and their energy level was so high, um, and it was from top to bottom. I'm excited to see them on the field just because of what they've done in, through the process, and we keep telling them to trust the process, and they've bought into everything that we've done in, in our training. And uh, I'm excited for this part of our season. That's the press pass for UWBadgers.com. I'm Brandon Spiegel.